and a hope maker. Then came stints as a Marine in the Korean War and later as a student at Stanford University and the Otis College of Art and Design, where he still teaches. A fascination with line drawings and watercolors expanded into murals, architectural design, and urban planning. By the 1970s, Van Sant was a lead architectural and art planner for the downtown Bunker Hill Redevelopment Project. A favorite diversion at the time was putting art in the sky. One fall day in 1979, Van Sant had sent up his latest creation, a twisting centipede of a kite, when he bumped into a man on the Baja Mexico beach. That's amazing, the onlooker said, can I help? Thus began a friendship with Nobel Prize winner Richard Feynman that would turn Van Sant's art sharply toward the scientific. The artist gave the physicist drawing lessons and, before he died in the mid-80s, Feynman lent his expertise for a Van Zandt creation, the world's smallest drawing. It involved using the world's largest scanning electronic microscope to burn a picture of the human eye into a grain of salt, not rice, salt. The image was then recorded with an electron beam. The artist named it Ryan's Eye for his baby son. Van Sant had already explored the other extreme. In a project cooked up for the Los Angeles Bicentennial, he and a crew set up mirrors in the shape of an eye across a one and a half mile stretch of the Mojave Desert to overexpose sensors in a satellite passing overhead. The result was the world's largest drawing. On a shelf next to his cluttered desk is a note from Apollo 15 astronaut Jim Irwin. Thank you for the new view of Earth. <laughs> Tom Van Zandt has executed over 60 major sculpture and mural commissions for public spaces around the world. After earning an MF MFA at the Otis Art Institute, today the Otis College of Art and Design, in 1957, Van Zandt's interests have included architectural design, city planning, art education, and advanced technical invention. He is also the founder of the Geosphere Project, an ambitious environmental display system designed to illustrate the issues of earth resource management. Van Sant has, has had 15 one-person exhibitions. He is known as the father of space art, what a title, and modern kite making. Tom Van Sant is listed in the Smithsonian Archive of American Artists, Otis College of Art and Design. He is a recipient of the Leonardo da Vinci Space Art Award, Carnegie Mellon University. Thank you for that presentation. Um, <clears throat> an occasion like this usually makes me think of the roots of my work. Does anybody remember an artist by the name of Millard Sheets? Yeah. <laughs> wonderful man, wonderful friend. Uh, my dad brought Millard home for dinner when I was five years old. And my dad said, here is the famous artist Millard Sheets. And uh, he said, can I draw something for you, Tommy? And I said, thank you, sir. Uh, <laughs> and he says, I'll draw you one of my horses. And he drew a, a beautiful horse with flowing mane and flowing tail. I don't know if you, any of you remember uh, Millard's style of painting. And, uh, and he showed it to me. And my dad was a Sunday painter, and, and he admired Millard. And he showed me this drawing and I said, my daddy can draw a better horse than that. <laughs> uh, after my dad sort of recovered, uh, Miller said it was all right and he, he roared with laughter and uh, I became like a, like a son to Millard and when he, we'd, he'd go painting in Mexico and so forth, I'd be his gopher and uh, find directions for him in Spanish. Thank you very much for this award. Uh, I'm very honored.